All right, everybody. So I ended up buying this YYD Robo electric scooter for driving around paddock on at track days. And I got this thing used because it was a little bit broken. If you go online and see all the reviews on this, people complain about this stem or this handlebar being misaligned with the front wheel. And that's because this part of the stem gets loose. Mine had the exact same issue and I have figured out how to fix it or at least temporarily fix it because it might loosen up again. Anyways, let's just take a look at how this thing is assembled. You have your stem that goes all the way up through here. This is your first locking collar, then you have a clamp, and then once you fold it down you'll see a second locking collar. So let's get this thing folded real quick. Um, okay, that's good. I don't really need to lock it in or anything. So, basically, what I believe my issue was is this locking collar wasn't tightened all the way down towards the stem. And when that happened, this part didn't tighten properly. And then this also didn't wasn't doing anything. Now, full disclosure, this one right here is broken on mine. It is a little bit stripped out. So I have Loctited it together, and that's why I won't be retaking it apart until everything loosens again. Anyways, to take everything apart and retighten this guy, what you want to do is undo this black locking collar. Just goes lefty loosey, and then you pull it off. Next up is you loosen this hex bolt, and then the matching one on the other side. With that, you're able to lift this top part of the handlebar completely off the scooter, and that exposes this silver stem. The next thing you want to do is take a look at this guy, and you just want to start cranking down clockwise when you're looking straight down. What this does is actually this locking collar tightens up to another lock nut that this collar actually surrounds, and I think that's where that fit really happens. Once that's done, you want to put this guy back on, and what I like to do is definitely put some pressure down there, so this is for sure touching this, and there's a, some type of friction fit, and then you tighten this, because this part clamps this top part of the handlebar to the stem, and then lastly, you just want to tighten this as much as possible, this top lock and collar, without, loose, uh, without stripping anything out. Now, mine's stripped out, like I said, so again, it is what it is. Anyways, once all that's good, you retighten this, and this wheel no longer uh, spins independently of this top part of the handlebar. So try it out yourselves, and I hope this video helps you.